Um, how and when did you figure out that music was going to be what you were going to do for the rest of your life? <laughs> he said, when I got the first check. <laughs> That's when I knew I didn't want to do it. When I looked at that, what? Lord have mercy. Actually, I wasn't under that illusion because I saw my father struggle with it his entire life. So I didn't think going to music to make money. I just watched him. He struggled with it. Um, I don't For me, it was when I was 12 or 13. Did somebody else... Walter could say, because his parent, he has I've been playing for, gosh, about 40, 42 years now. And I love it, wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I come from a family of musicians. Uh, my mother's uh, an incredible singer, and she's actually performed a few concerts with the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra as well. She also plays piano. My father was a bassist, and even my grandmother was a um, classical pianist and organist. And uh, she's, it's because of her that we all play music. In fact, my grandmother in the 70s was uh, teaching at the Cleveland Institute of Music. And that's where both of my parents went to college. And as a result, that's where they met and then came me. So it's because of my grandmother that we all play music. And um, I speak a few languages, I've been all over the place. Uh, we have a jazz at Lincoln Center in Shanghai, as a matter of fact, and I've been out there serving as jazz ambassador as well. I've been in the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra for about 22 years now, and it's been a real pleasure. And um, that's pretty much uh, who I am and a little bit about me musically. Well, too, so it was, it was not always the most wonderful sight or romantic vision of thinking of being a starving artist or musician, but... Um, I think I realized for me that I was going to do music for the rest of my life at the point that I started to understand how good it made me feel to share music with people and how it healed me therapeutically and how important that was to me. Mm -hmm. And that arrived when I think I was about, uh, about 17. Right. But I'll just play a little something for you. Sometimes you don't realize how important it is, the things that you do. You might even take them for granted until you get older, that you start to realize and appreciate all of the lessons your parents took you to or those things that took so many years of dedication that start to bear fruit. And that really started to show in my awareness when I was about 17. But I've always, like Winter said, I've always had the fortune of being uh, in a musical family and being surrounded by I music. heard him play when he was 16. He could play. He had dreadlocks. And we all said, man, what's the dude with the dreadlocks on that can play? <laughs> then you might hear somebody who could really play one every seven years or eight. He stood up and could just play. So I don't know what he's talking about, 17. I'm <laughs> telling you. I mean, I'm talking, he was playing. It wasn't like you were like, okay. You're like, mm, okay, man with the dreads on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 